the most beautiful and amazing women are just around the corner. Today, gentlemen, this video is for you. I'm going to be showing you the real-time data from my investigation on the top three Southeast Asian countries that are desperate for good men. In third place, we have this country has been popular for many years now, but why? Simply because it's one of the easiest places in the world for men to date. So let's look at some numbers. According to the latest statistics, there are currently 96 males for every 100 females. But one important question I have for you is what actually is a woman? Then what is a woman? Mm. Great question. I'm not a woman, so I, I can't really answer that. What is a woman? Why do you ask that question? How do you know that you're a man? How do I know that I'm a man? I guess because I got a dick. Thailand is known for a lot of different reasons, but let's be honest, transgenders, or ladyboys as they are called in Thailand, are a big part of society. So does this make a difference? The LGBTI community is massive in Thailand. Sources suggest that the community is as high as 8 to 10 percent of the total population. This 8 to 10 percent is not made up of all transgenders, but there is a significant proportion. So, it's not a far stretch to say that these numbers could impact the ratio of available single women. But there is one final point that could make a difference. If you have ever lived in Thailand for a considerable amount of time, you will, without a doubt, know that the local single ladies are at times extremely jealous. But there is always a cause to an effect. So why is this? Well, a little known statistic is that Thailand ranks number one in terms of the most unfaithful men. Yeah, that's right. A study by Directs found that more than 50% of respondents admitted to having an affair. All these factors and many more make Thailand a perfect destination for single men. But let me warn you, dating is intense. Have you ever seen those videos pop up on YouTube of guys using Tinder in places such as Bangkok? If not, the videos normally show the experience of spending a few days on dating apps. Getting 100 matches within a few hours is not uncommon. So enjoy, brother, but remember to pace yourself and take your time so that you can find the right match. Okay. In second place, we have... <laughs> Now, as a single man, you will find that many countries share a similar atmosphere, but Cambodia is slightly different. If we are talking about dating in Asia, the economic factors must be mentioned. Cambodia is a lot poorer than other countries, and they really struggle across many economical areas. This has indeed led to many women preferring to date gentlemen overseas. After experiencing Cambodia and seeing the hardship some local women experience, I can't blame them for wanting to date abroad. However, even though the economic factors are only a small reason, it's best to mention the obvious. In terms of gender ratio, well, this is another interesting ratio as there are currently 95 males to every 100 females as per the latest data points. The ladies are known to be very polite and welcoming. One of the biggest pieces of feedback I often hear from foreigners dating in Cambodia is that the women are traditional. So if you are looking for a traditional woman, Cambodia might be the perfect place. One downside I also must mention to you is that dating apps are not common across the country. If you go to the capital or some of the bigger cities, you will find a few people on dating apps, but to be frank, it is on a completely different level than what you might expect. That being said, Cambodia is a growing destination for foreigners who wish to date overseas. But we have one more country to go to, and that is, of course, then yung mga bridges, yung parang medyo If you are a single man and you are looking for an awesome woman, the Philippines is the place to go. But why do I say this? First of all, the Philippines is the second strongest English-speaking country in Asia. Now, when someone told me this years ago, it sounded to me like just another boring point, but trust me, brother, this is such an important point. There is nothing worse than going on a date with a woman who doesn't speak English. It's so awkward. But the reason the Philippines is such a great place for you to go is because of the culture. Many locals don't have a problem dating foreigners. Some families even see this as a good thing. 
but the culture of the Philippines is very similar to the West, which really gives it the edge over other countries. There is a large number of amazing single women that are seeking a good man. One area I came across during the investigation was the boom in single moms. Single moms make up a big percentage of single ladies in the country. I know that not every guy wants to date a single mom, but again, I feel it's worth mentioning because most videos won't tell you that this is the case. Jamie has spoken about the data in previous videos, and we found that single motherhood is a big issue in the Philippines. So just keep that at the back of your mind. But if you are looking for more information, take a look at this video where Jamie investigated why men now prefer to date Filipina women. Until then, I'll see you in the next video.